Well, let's see here. I got one more diamond character base to play. And that's the orc. A gruesome brute. You are a strong brute, hated by all. Find a better weapon, make them pay. So, much like the dwarf, this is another high experience character. And he's a little bit different than the other characters in that he basically starts with a bone as opposed to, like, you know, a dagger. And what's interesting about this bone is that you can basically give it to a dog to basically, like, tame it if you want. Now, this is strong hero, so he's a little bit better at combat than the other heroes. But he's also ugly, so humans also are very, like, you know, prone to attack him. And that basically means if they're, like, you know, in hiding in a hut, they'll actually, like, pop out of the hut to attack him. He's hated, so store prices are more expensive for him to buy from. And creatures all around basically can't be tamed without magic or special means. He's also weak to magic, so spells that normally target all the creatures around him will basically only like work on one when he uses a scroll, I guess. And he's also melee only, so no ranged weapons on York. Alright, so. Grok not like humans. Too squishy. No fight in them. Travel many days. Got bone to smash enemies. No planned future. No remember past, only kill, and eating gets stronger. Who does tall human say Grok no visit underworld? Him got strong armor, big weapon. Best show him Grok smart and strong. Alright, so this is like, you know, background of me basically playing him. I'm not that the orc is basically one of my best characters until, like, you know, I play some other characters, but... One of the early be better ones, and you can see why. I only had, like, a couple wins and losses of this guy, so... Didn't play him a whole lot today, so I got him up to, like, um, you know, gold, and then... I actually got up to diamond fairly easy after that from all the other stuff. So let's play Rock. On Apostle Difficulty. So yes. A star of a bone, a crude but effective weapon. Dogs and wolves love it. It's a blunt weapon, and you basically get these usually from like eating meat, but Grok basically just starts with it automatically. And as I basically said before, you uh, basically have like humans are basically automatically pop out huts, huts attack you, so we'll kill him, heal up, go see my boyfriend. There's the gatekeeper. There's a monkey. It's now dead. No problem because I'm strong. I actually get like an extra point of like, you know, half point of damage, so I can kill like, you know, a one heart character in like one hit because I basically like, you know, um, override the force damage or defense. Also note that there's like, you know, this bull tree is following me now. The wolf basically wants the bone, so I could give him the bone if I want to. Uh, not great, but we can probably work this. And there's a shuriken. Nope, by the way, the wolf basically spawned in a, like, a couple like more friends, so... Use my fishing hook to basically use this. This will get very dangerous if I basically let these bulls around, so... We're gonna kill him off. Kill him off. So now I got a little bit of armor to work with. And of course, you have a thief right here. Alright, there we go. Note the layer armor doesn't overheat me, so... It says it makes me hot, but it doesn't actually make me hot. It's not like the hide armor over here. Which actually does make you hot. 
Okay, I gotta get over there, so... Okay, maybe it does make you hot. Let's just drop this then. Let's make you like me. And yeah, I know the troll it basically has like you know one defense, but Grok no care. Grok still kill it. Oops. Oh, got a snake out of that. Hmm. Let's see here. That's not useful there, Snake, but whatever. Let's kill the thief here. Lucky my arms can protect me from these like little attacks here, so... Uh-oh, that's scary. If that, like, you know, gets cast by that parrot, it's, like, you know, bad, so... Well, that's lucky. He healed me instead. And they put me to sleep. So, that's actually something I really dislike about the fishing rod and also the robber, by the way. If you're, like, developer racing you're watching, it'd be nice if like, you had an option to, like, you know, loot or, like, you know, uh, like, attack or something like that. But whatever. You can die. You can die. I'll take that. A letter for me. And of course, I don't lose coins because coins are coins. Rope. Climb steep terrain easily. Lasso flyers. I'll take that just because I'd rather, like, you know, not have to worry about that crap anymore. Alright, well, we delivered the letter. Nice little distance of easy travel here, but whatever. Take me to see Freddy, because Big Force, please be careful. Let's wake up my friends here. Alright, this is not the best friend to basically have around the world, but oh well. It's a friend. That's why it's not a great friend, he likes to eat stuff. And steal stuff. Okay, the castle's all the way up there, so... This will be fun. There's a balloon. The balloon's basically like a fragile, like, you know, you know, it'll pop basically when it gets hit. Fragile items are destroyed as soon as the holder is hit in combat. The penalty applies even to attack if you're not damp with damage. The thing about the balloons that basically used to flight, which is very nice, but... Um, the problem is like, you know, it's like too fragile, so... Oh, that was scary. And of course, this goes right there. Alright, let's just try and save the princess, I guess. Oh, she died. I seek the temple, find it for me, explore. I'm trying to find a cave, by the way, at this point, so... Do I want to put on a ghillie suit? There's not a whole lot of, like, you know, open plane bases to fall into here, so... Probably not. 
Let's make you more friendly. That's nice. Hmm. There's a pest in spawns too, so... Oh yeah, I've got the, you know, the rope. I forgot I could just last him, right? Keep searching, blah blah. You can die. Nope, by the way, the fox is gonna eat that less as soon as he sees it. Cause you know, fox. Alright, perfect. Let's get in here. Let's use the skull, because why not? Was with me and find poison in all these places, of course, but whatever. I guess they hate water. Lucky me. Temple's close, you can feel it. Let's go down here. You can die. Uh, not useful. I drowned. I probably should have taken off the armor before I moved there because it was seeking me, but oh well. That's like the thing to note about armor. It's very dangerous to use armor at all in this game. Well, let's try again. Someone's house is fussing. Well, thank you. You can die. So we got a lantern. That would be useful in the dark. That's technically armor, just like, you know, barrel, but it makes you wide, so... Not the greatest, like, armor. I'll take this. And let's see here. I'll note that the um, barrel makes me very slow. Bang, 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 bang. This is going to keep throwing out cats until we get river, so... We need to go. It actually can't hurt me, right? So, whatever. I would like that scroll, but oh well. You can die. A young boy plays with his toys. Get the key. Have a nap. Money's useful, but not really on the orc, because you can't really buy stuff, so... We'll skip the, um... The money counter. Grab that meat. Thank you for checking on him. Dinner time, Alfie. Alright, well, let's keep going. My clue is lost. Excellent, we found our quest already again. Interesting, this guy should be hostile, but he's not.
Now, I should probably note something about the, what the barrel I'm just using right now. It does actually let me float, so I don't really have to worry about water. Ooh, sack. Sacks are really useful, but I'm not sure if it's useful for this guy, so we'll keep the, um, the lantern on him. The thing about the lantern says making me very, you know, capable of, like, you know, seeing, like, my surroundings and stuff. Oh yeah, note that this is a wide armor, so I can't, like, walk around, like, you know, corners very easily. But yeah, note that the, like, barrel here. It has floats, so basically if I'm in water, I can basically, like, you know, not drown, and schools don't get wet. Had a minor interruption for my niece there, but oh well. Let's just keep going. There's the magic flute. See, I note that basically in like the dungeon here, I like naturally float on like, you know, the water, which is nice, about like the barrel. It's like one of the few arm, um, things that's just like, you know, Nice but like uh, the barrel, I guess, is an armor. So you're gonna die because you're being annoying. With this suit, I will rule the world. And all I got was dice for it, oh well. I don't really have much purpose for gold, so... So you spend three coins and spend the, um, and spend the night. The bed is slimy. So I guess if the bed is slimy, you don't get full hearts. That's good to know. All right. Well, we only need one request. Made in my friend's lost and see. That's perfect. We're just gonna hang around, the, you know, the gatekeeper here. You're inside a whale. Someone cries out in the distance. Pop out Jonah. You can die. Jonah made it. You can die. By the way, the amulet that, like, you know, you saw me pick up um, in, like, the, one of the previous games, I'll note that apparently the developer told me that when I was basically using that, um, and I think on the Barbarian. I didn't actually use it because um, I killed myself with the pepper. So this does actually work, but whatever. At last, we're okay on an island, join left your chest. Whatever, we're done. The gatekeeper stands silent, tall and silent. Alright, so turns taken, 296. We basically had um, a 7 minute time, which is like pretty good for an impossible run, I guess. There's my encounters, there's what I killed, free quests, there's my experience. <sighs> of course you get diamond right now. Well, I guess we'll be playing a fairy next. It's the Curse of Fairy. Oh yeah, the castle shows how far through the game you are. Click more mills to keep building. So apparently I've like complete 44% of the castle. I'm actually tempted to see like, you know, the stats for the orc here, by the way. So, does it actually like, you know, show like, you know, my least amount of tiles like, you know, done. It shows my fastest win. And my least actions was 225. I'm not really sure if it's like best for the high score, but it's probably one of my best ones. So least moves. Alright, well it's not my best one, it happens to be better than the orc there, but it goes to show that like you know some of these games can be very short. 
By the way, something about the high scores here is that um, it basically shows all the easy wins here because the easy wins basically have um, only one quest you need to basically complete to actually beat the game. So a lot of people basically get on here with like the easy wins and they don't actually like, you know, progress any further than that. Something I hope the developer basically changes later on, but oh well. Alright, let's see here. Let's go with Expert this time. I could go back in Impossible, but whatever. We already did two Impossible runs, so... Here's an axe that basically please hit my neighbors, very nice. Stormy outside, but whatever. This seems like a perfect time to go into the cave. And there we go, I finally did. I went to, you know, a dead end and like, you know, backtrack to the staircase. So that's basically something we can do in dead ends. Temple's close. And again, I can kill a twirl because I basically have enough strength for it. That's a dead end there, apparently. Below me. Down I go. There's the temple. Your task is ended, take your reward and leave. So, note the unhappy face based on signals I can't use the weapon because it's a ranged weapon, and of course, the orc is blue only. Sucks to be him. The chest not recurring the legendary relic is basically a pickaxe. That's actually not a bad weapon for um, in here, by the way, because you can use it to knock down doors and stuff, but. I'll stick with the axe. There's cleave in action, by the way. Eh, yeah, why not? We'll keep going down. Oh, I'd do that, of course. Um, okay, so I found a weapon here, apparently. Just a, you know, just a regular spike club. That's why he's not a bad weapon for the Orc to use, by the way, because basically he's got extra strength, so he basically does one point, and then the arm pierce beings, he like pierces through curves and stuff, but... Again, I think the axe is fine. Alright, so this will um, take me back out to the staircase, but... I'm looking for treasure. And there's the relic, the pole axe. That's an excellent weapon to find here. There we go. I was looking for this door because it's always going to have, like, you know, something useful here. Oh, that's painful to find. Uh, let's go here. Let's eat the egg. We're gonna go this way. And out I go. Okay, the gatekeeper's up there, so I have to find one more quest basically to satisfy him. Ahoy, visitor out of town, awesome. A treasure hunt, your first clue is to the southeast. You found a treasure. I'll know probably like there is like this sort of clue thing for just like, you know, thing, but if you find the treasure prematurely, then, you know, 
Whatever. Right there with them where the uh, treasure would have been right here, but whatever. And yes, it's merely attacking everything now. They feel like it. Whoop. You can die. So, Guan Yin is basically here to take me home. Not exactly that beneficial to me, so let's just save our score. And Chris Rock can taste my food. There's a piercing overhead cry, of course. And let's just get out of here. Have you eaten? So I win! Difficulty expert. I only did that in five minutes, apparently. Turn sick and hard nine for free. Hey, I got the elf diamond. Maybe we'll use her next. Now, it's worth doing by what the orc here just got, like, you know. Um, what was it? Least accidents with basically 193. Nota is basically playing that on an uh, expert, which is basically one like rank lord and like impossible and like difficulty. And something up with the high scores basically here is that um, it won't actually show that basically my like high score for um, you know best times. And the reason is because it'll always show basically like your highest difficulty like played first. So my best difficulty is basically oh, it's with the orc apparently. Two or four moves. I guess the um, orc did actually like you know get the best score. But whatever. I'll know basically if I have like you know a better like expert run than like you know impossible. It'll show the impossible over the expert. And that's basically one of the reasons you basically see like a lot of these like you know um, easy modes basically here being in front. It's because all these people basically play on easy mode, but they haven't played on a higher difficulty in one yet. So yeah, something I you know hope it will be like fixed in like later versions. All right, well, I still haven't passed three minutes, but I got myself my two wins on this character already. And I unlocked both the, um, the Curse of Fairy and the Elf. I'm definitely going to play the Elf first, whatever. Is there anything more to show off here, I guess? I'm not sure if I've done it yet, but here's basically an overall press kit. So... Fact sheet, the name of the world game is called Overworld. It's made by Red Asteroid Games and was released on May 31st, 2022. So it's a little bit over like a year old, this game now. The price is free, the language is English. The website basically is right there. The Play Store, of course, is where you can get it. You can also get XIO. So there's a description of the game, there's features and all sorts of stuff. Where you can basically email this stuff. Now, it's worth knowing that the um, developer here does actually do his own Let's Plays, I think, for this game as well. So if you're like looking for more than like just me playing this game, there's actually like also a YouTube channel this guy has. And he actually has like his like own like, you know, um, sort of playthroughs as well. So Story of the Fuck Complete, Fairy is Still Complete, Mermaid is Still Complete, etc. I think he places all on Impulsively as well, so there's that too. Anyhow, I think that's basically good for now. Let's just end this episode early here, I guess, and I'll see you guys in the next one, so take care.